right? We got some chicken fried rice and we have that same stir fry vegetable that I showed you last time on the side. So chicken fried rice, Asian vegetable stir fry. Want to know how to make it? Let's get started. Uh -huh. Welcome back. Like I said, here we go. Some chicken fried rice. Last time it was fried rice. Very similar. We're just going to do chicken with it this time. So I have one uh, skinless boneless chicken breast that I cut this chicken breast off of a whole chicken. One of those whole $5 chicken chickens. I showed you how to do that in the Will's baked butter fried chicken. Okay, It's a lot cheaper than buying a uh, skinless boneless chicken breast. Nonetheless, if you just need to pick one of these up, uh, one chicken breast in a quart size bag. Let's go ahead and get this uh, Flattened out a little bit here. Get you back to uh, Will's Mills, the baked butter fried chicken. I show you how to take a whole chicken. Take the two chicken breasts off, the two thighs, two legs, two wings. Then you have a whole carcass to make things like chicken and dumpling soup, which is my number one view uh, viewership right now is the uh, chicken and dumplings. Also chicken noodle, chicken and rice, chicken and bean. Uh, cream chicken and potato, all those soups are on uh, Will's Meals. Then we're gonna cut this, let's it before we cut it, let's throw in some uh, Asian Asian stir fry, or excuse me, Asian uh, seasoning, which we used in the vegetable stir fry. So if you guys watched the vegetable stir fry last time, um, this is the same Asian seasoning that we used. I'm also going to, as I keep delaying here, let's go ahead and crank our uh, wok on. I got the wok with two tablespoons of peanut oil. Last time I told you about the uh, the good viscosity of peanut oil. So you're probably, in my opinion, you don't want to use um, olive oil or just a regular vegetable oil for this. You want something like grapeseed oil or peanut oil because it just holds up much better under the high heats uh, that we use to cook our Asian food. So we're going to get our skinless, smellless chicken breast cut up with our Asian seasoning on it. Then we're gonna throw in, sorry about my dog. <laughs> she's whining because Keto, who's video today, uh, she likes Keto to play with her. So that's why she's, that's why she's whining. And unlike me, watch what you're doing with this knife. So you don't slice your fingers while you're looking up at your dog or your videographer or looking up at all of you. Wonderful folks that are watching. By the time we get this chicken all cut up, we're going to start with the chicken in our oil because I want to make sure this chicken is cooked. Okay, then we'll add very similar ingredients that we added for the uh, the fried rice that I, that I already showed you how to make. All right, so let's start with our chicken and our wok with two tablespoons of olive oil. All right, so the heat's on as high as it'll go. And we're going to stir fry this oh for probably about two minutes. <clears throat> and then after that two minutes on the highest heat, um, we'll add our onions, our scrambled eggs, rice, or excuse me, we'll add our onion, peas, and carrots. Okay, we'll get that going. And then we'll uh, add our scrambled eggs, our rice, our seasoning, which is our dynasty seasoning here. Okay. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, so I'll see you back in two minutes for me, about two seconds for you. See you in two seconds. All right, so we're back. The chicken has been in here about two minutes. Let's go ahead and add our uh, cut up green onion. This is uh, three or four, three or four cut up green onions. In Okinawa, they're longer and thinner, but they're really long, so I use three. In the States, you're probably gonna wanna use, uh, excuse me, I use four. Four here in Okinawa, some of the states, you're probably gonna wanna use three. So the green onion in, the uh, frozen peas and carrots in. I use frozen because they stand up better. With the chicken, now that chicken is not all the way cooked yet. All right, we'll leave this in like another minute and a half. And that should just about finish our chicken. Peas, carrots, and our green onions. And it's, I don't know if I told you, but it's uh, three quarters of a cup or a little more than a three quarters of a cup of peas and carrots besides your three or four chopped up green onions that we're going to put in there also while the camera is off 
I put in a little more uh, of my Asian seasoning here. I put a little more of this on the chicken. And I won't put any more in because we're going to use this uh, Dynasty seasoning that I told you about with the regular fried rice. Okay. I told you you can get that on Amazon. To my surprise, Amazon has actually stopped carrying that. But you can get it at Walmart. If Walmart doesn't have it, you can get it at Walmart.com. And I only have about three or four packs left here in Okinawa, Japan, where I can't get that. So I will be ordering some more here soon from Walmart.com. It's like I said, because Am Amazon's not covering it anymore. I have to check. There's also a, uh, there's a Japanese Amazon where we'll get stuff from the mainland over here in Okinawa. And I'll check on that. To see. Hey, Ruby. Ruby wants somebody to play with her. She's not hungry. It's not her dinner, though. She just she just wants to play. All right. It's probably about time for what's going to be our scrambled eggs. So I've got two eggs. Let's go ahead and scramble them up. And we're on all the way high. Got our two tablespoons of peanut oil in there. Okay. And we're going to start. And when those eggs are just about set and scrambled, then we'll add our rice, that Dynasty seasoning, and uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce. The recipe calls for one tablespoon. I put two in. So for seasoning, we have our Asian seasoning on our chicken. We'll have that seasoning packet and two tablespoons of soy. And it will be absolutely delicious. You can kind of tell now how the uh, what's left of the peanut oil has mixed with our, see how the eggs are starting to set up? What's left of the peanut oil has mixed up with our scrambled eggs. And once we get them at like a soft scramble, just a little bit longer, that's when we'll add our rice, our Dynasty fried rice seasoning packet, two tablespoons of soy, stir that up about two minutes, and you have a very quick, very quick, delicious chicken fried rice meal. And it's very affordable too. Very affordable cooking. And you can add that to, as I reach for my rice, you can add that to the stir fried vegetables that I showed you how to make last time. And you'll have a chicken fried rice, stir fried vegetable, delicious, delicious meal for a very affordable price. All right, so here's our seasoning packet going in. Rice is already in, still on high. Still on the highest heat. And our two tablespoons of soy. Going in. One, two, and approximately two minutes of stirring it up. And the star of the show will be done. Once your vegetables are prepped, you can do all this in like literally five or six minutes. And the chicken prepped as well. So the more you do it, if you like, and your family will love this meal, I promise you, you will love it, your family will love it, your guests will love it. The more you do it, uh, the better you'll get. I served this for probably 20 some, 30 some people one time. I just kept making the recipe and I threw it in a crock pot. Made the recipe again, threw it in the crock pot. My crock pot's full. So I, you know, I borrowed my neighbor's crock pot and I made it again, threw it in the crock pot, made it again, threw it in the crock pot. And I had stir fried vegetables and chicken fried rice for, uh, I don't know, 20 some, 30 some people. And they absolutely loved it. Everyone wanted the recipe. Everyone wanted to know how to make it. Well, here you go. You now know how to make it. Making sure you get your spot. If you don't have a wok, by the way, obviously you can make this in a fry pan. As you can see, the wok makes it easier. I told you before, if you watch, I picked up this tool for the walk. I think my daughter was saying she got it for me for Father's Day or my birthday or Christmas or something like that. And this really does make it easier. But don't think if you don't have these tools that you can't make chicken fried rice. You can. And I hope that you will. Really hope to try this recipe. Look in there and look at all those beautiful colors, man. The orange carrots, the green peas and carrots, the light brown rice. Absolutely, positively delicious. Let's say our two minutes is about up. Heat's going off. I'm gonna take it off the heat because you don't want that rice to burn on the bottom of the pan. I'm going all the way down to the bottom to keep the rice from burning. All right, and kind of a special treat. 
for my family and me is I already made that same vegetable stir fry that I showed you guys last time. It's in here on warm. So here is your absolutely positively delicious, delicious, and look at those beautiful colors, vegetable stir fry and chicken fried rice. This is what's for supper or dinner. So before we eat, would you like to uh, say a prayer with me to thank God for our food? Your Heavenly Father, we bow before you, Lord. Thank you so much for this food. We pray that folks will try this, Lord. They'll understand how easy it is and how affordable it is to make. Lord, we pray that nutrition in this food will give us strength that we may better serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next time.